everyone it feels like forever since I've been able to do a video so this is a pretty exciting thing for me right now uh, for those who didn't know my computer was completely useless and I couldn't do anything on it and it's been that way for a few months and it, it finally kind of gave up on me and so I invested money and upgraded my entire system and my new system works like a dream it's absolutely incredible I, I can't get over how great it is and yeah, <laughs> so if you follow me on Twitter, you kind of know the um, specs of my new PC. So if you want to go check that out, it's over on Twitter. But yeah, so I wanted to draw the gem temple and I've wanted to do this for a very, very long time. For those that don't know what this is from, this is from Steven Universe, which is my favorite cartoon at the moment, my favorite TV show at the moment. And this is uh, the home of Steven himself. Stephen and the Crystal Gems live in this temple on Beach City and the design of her and the sort of overall look that the show has anyway really really inspires me and I've always wanted to draw this uh, temple and a lot of people assume and think and I think it's correct that the um, the temple the carving of the temple uh, symbolizes a fusion between rose, garnet, amethyst and pearl, um, although we'll never see that, um, at least not in like present day. So I guess it's kind of like, I don't know, it, it's obviously something that happened in the past and you kind of get a glimpse of it with the uh, historical friction episode. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about it. <laughs> Um, so please welcome me back to YouTube, don't hate me too much for having to take a forced break from streaming and making videos because I had no choice, there was no way I was going to get any videos done on my old PC, it was not working. <laughs> it was taking five minutes to shut down on a night, it was crashing on things like Twitter, it would take, I would have to like get up in the morning, switch it on, uh, log in, get it started up walk away, come back in half an hour and it would be ready for me to use. It was it was on its last legs and I'm just so, so relieved to now be working on a much faster PC. I did record this obviously when my PC was um, broken. So I was only able to record one um, shot of this so I couldn't do like both angles unfortunately I was very limited in the past few weeks with what I could and couldn't do so um, as well with this being a big piece it wouldn't have looked too great I don't think from above <laughs> but it would have been nice to have some closer up shots but unfortunately I just couldn't do that I'm, a, I'm sorry guys I'm mostly working with watercolor and you can see there that I'm using my Cotman Studio um, half pan set uh, some of the pans in them are uh, professional ones that I've replaced and I've invested in a little spray bottle it was by Derwent and it was 99 pence from an art store and it's a really nice little powerful spray bottle that um, I just spray over my watercolour half pans and it soaks them enough for me to use them without having to like um, like over soak them I guess and it's just it speeds up things quite a bit and it's quite nice and it helps me use less paint I've noticed um, so I did want a spray bottle to keep my watercolours sort of refreshed <laughs> and it was very useful whilst travelling as well because you can't just the way I use watercolours is I tend to like soak the half pans so that I've got quite a, a fluid surface and um, yeah it's not easy to do when you are at a convention for example so the spray bottle came in um, came to great use this weekend. <laughs> I was at SunnyCon last weekend, I didn't really make a video because I literally couldn't and um, even though it went really 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 well I don't think I will be returning next year. I felt like it was just a bit too far to travel and the fact that we had to get a hotel and um, I, I liked my table setup but I wasn't too keen on the venue but um, I would fully recommend SunnyCon to any artist 
that um, wants to try out conventions for the first time that the tables are super cheap and you will make your money back um, but at this point with me now sort of migrating over to all of the MCM ones I, I now have like a sort of standard like table setup and I can't do that at just SunnyCon and I don't know it's just I, I kind of I've moved away from generic conventions lately um, and I kind of just do MCM now because they earn me the most and um, they have the highest footfall and they're the most successful for me but um, I still had a ton of fun and SunnyCon's great because I get to see all of my friends and I'm gonna miss going to SunnyCon in general um, but it was still fun and I do highly recommend it to any starting artists who want to get into the convention scene. And there's a close-up. <laughs> uh, this took me several days, you'll notice the lighting changed quite a few times and I was doing every individual part of the rock on its own with different colours and I had so much fun. There was It's that kind of fun that you have as an artist where you're really enjoying yourself but also hating your life at the same time. Um, I'm sure all of you artists out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it, there's a sort of painful pleasure to art that you, oh that was Ryan giving me a cup of tea, bless him. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a painful pleasure to art that, you know, it's, it's fun and it's great and you love it and but then you also hate it <laughs> um, and I think spending that amount of time with a piece that I did didn't help as well um, parts of me were enjoying it parts of me were wanting to scrap it you know and I just kept pushing at it I wasn't gonna give up I wasn't gonna give up I was getting so much feedback from you guys on Instagram um, because I created a brand new Instagram for works in progress and the link will be in the description um, so if you want to check that out and I will be sort of live I want to like say live posting when I'm drawing in future um, so if I'm doing a big piece like this I will um, post it on there rather than my main Instagram because I noticed I was flooding my main Instagram with things like sketches and I'd rather put them on a different Instagram because it kind of clutters it up so if you're interested in sketches and works in progress go check out my alternative Instagram I have three Instagram accounts I have my main which is for artwork I have my second which is more like selfies and sort of average daily things that don't really mean anything and then I have my third which is like I said my uh, works in progress and my sketches and I need to get used to using it because I always feel kind of shy about posting works in progress but I know that some of you guys like to see my processes and at the same time it's it's not healthy to just see my finished work and not know where the hard work has come from I think it's it's always vital to show your progress and then people will respect your progress so if you're scared about showing sketches or works in progress but you find you're not getting the sort of the feedback that you want then try and show people how you work and encourage people to sort of share your experience with you and people will probably start to respect your approach to things and realize how much effort goes into artwork and if they still don't appreciate your efforts after that, then they're just not very nice people. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Not everyone understands art and that's okay as well. And there's me, um, gross. <laughs> Wearing my Steven Universe hoodie, it's like, oh no, you're not meant to see the trash, no. <laughs> I am using my Iron Lac fine liners. Um, it's the series two, I think, 0.4 millimeter fine liners and they have these are the fine liners I keep talking about. I really like them because they've got unusual colours and they work so well in paintings, watercolour paintings, but they are water dye based inks, so I can't use them to ink the whole thing initially. What else do I say? Um, I'm back live streaming again, which is really good. I'm just happy to be working again. Um, it's, you know, it's been a long time coming, I think. <laughs> I'm also going to be sharing some bigger news about the future of this channel and my own 
future, I guess, the future of my future. <laughs> um, in an upcoming video, I want to discuss some things with you guys and what might be happening um, either later this year or in a couple of years time, or I don't know the time frame at this point, but um, stay tuned for some information coming up soon. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, bless me. <laughs> um, I'm right at the video now, I can't cut that out, no! <laughs> um, I'm just finishing off the painting with some gold gouache here, um, which is the Winsor Newton gouache, and uh, yes, yeah, so thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video, yay! <laughs> Bye!